Bree Reads. I'm Miss Bree, and this week we have a new story. The author writes the story, the illustrator draws the picture. We got the front, ah, we got the back, ah, we got the spine, ah. The title of the story is All About Weather. Written by Huda Harajli, illustrations by Jane Sanders. With permission from Simon and Schuster. All About Weather, a first weather book for kids. What is weather? Step outside. What does the sky look like? What does the air feel like? The sky is blue. The air feels warm. That's the weather. Weather changes all the time. It helps you decide how to spend the day. Weather also changes throughout the year. These changes are called seasons. Many places on earth have four seasons. Spring, summer, fall, winter. Winter's my favorite. Spring weather is warm and rainy. It's when the flowers start to bloom. Summer weather is hot and sunny. The air becomes cooler during fall and leaves change colors. Winter brings cold air and sometimes snow. Near the middle of the earth, there are only two seasons, rainy and dry. How many seasons happen where you live? Thermometers tell us how hot or cold the air is. Higher numbers are hotter, lower numbers are colder. Rain freezes and turns into snow at 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Is the sun shining today? Put on your coolest shades. What is the sun? The sun causes the weather on earth. It provides light and warmth. The sun is actually a star. It's more than 4.5 billion years old. Whoa! The sun can make the air outside feel hot. Enjoy a sunny day by playing outside. Remember, you gotta wear sunscreen. You can ride your bike in the park or cool down at the beach. Is it windy? Quick, catch your hat before it flies away. What is wind? It is windy when the air around us moves. We can't see the wind, but we can feel it. Enjoy a windy day by flying a kite or blowing bubbles. Windmills turn wind into electricity. Wow, that's so cool. Are there fluffy shapes floating in the sky? It must be cloudy. What are clouds? Cumulus clouds, stratus clouds, cirrus clouds, nimbus clouds. Warmth from the sun causes tiny water droplets to rise up into the sky. Those tiny droplets stick together and make clouds. Enjoy a cloudy day by laying in the grass and watching the clouds change shape. Clouds might look light and fluffy, but they're very heavy. One cloud can weigh more than one million pounds. That's the same as a hundred elephants. Whoa! What shapes can you see? Name some. Mm, I see a heart. What do you see? Is it raining outside? Grab your umbrella. What is rain? A drop of water spends nine days in the sky before falling back in the earth. Rain is water that falls from clouds. Rain has a very important job. It provides the water plants need to grow. Enjoy a rainy day by reading a book near a window. Listen to the raindrops. Is it snowy? Lace up those boots. What is snow? When rain freezes, it's called snow. Snow is icy and wet. Snowflakes are different shapes, but they all have six sides. Enjoy a snowy day by making snow angels. Maybe try ice skating. 
Is there a thunderstorm? Let's move the picnic inside. What is a thunderstorm? If you can hear thunder and see lightning, that's a thunderstorm. Thunderstorms also bring rain and sometimes wind. Thunderstorms form when cold air and warm air meet. Enjoy a stormy day by playing games with your family. Try counting the seconds between lightning and thunder. The higher you count, the farther away the storm is. Stay safe inside and keep away from windows during a storm. Look outside after a thunderstorm and you might see a rainbow. Rainbows form when light shines through raindrops. The seven colors in a rainbow are red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Let's get ready for the weather. It's a cold, snowy day. Point to what you'll need. It's raining. Point to two items you'll need. The weather is sunny and bright. Point to what you'll need. Look at the clothes each person is wearing. Use your weather knowledge to decide which season they're in. Spring, summer, winter, or fall. Now that you're a weather expert, what is your favorite type of weather? The end. And that's the end of our story, my little bookworms. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Remember, reading is a magical adventure that could take you anywhere you want to go. So keep reading and exploring new worlds. Until next time, farewell, my friends. Subscribe and like. Comment what book you'd like to hear next. Hi guys, it's Miss Bree and I'm here to wish one of my special bookworms a happy birthday. Happy birthday, Annalise! I hope your day is as wonderful as you are. Miss